Hey guys, welcome to a new playthrough of Dishonored 2. Again, I'm pretty late to the party. This game was... I don't even know. I think it was uh, released in 2016. Um, I somehow did the DLC Dishonored Death of the Outsider uh, before I actually did the main game. <coughs> DLC was pretty cool. It's one of the few deep playthroughs that I actually finished, or I just did a counting. I finished 12 deep playthroughs, so very, very thoroughly, trying to get to them, through them as deep as possible. But I also have like 15 playthroughs still in progress. So it's actually really a bit retarded that I'm now starting a, a new one, but it just hit me. <coughs> like I wanted to change the scenery. I still had it on my Steam account, Dishonored 2. It was actually still in the back of my mind on my to-do list. So I decided why not. But I still have to finish one that I started recently is Batman Arkham Knight, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, uh, WRC 8 I'm still doing, started up, Wolfenstein 2, Control, uh, I'm still doing steep snowboarding game, Ratchet and Clank uh, on the PS4. <coughs> I'm doing Skyrim Special Edition. I modded like a couple of years of my life spent modding Skyrim, but never really played it. So that's also still to be finished. Grand Theft Auto 5, I already played it uh, and completed it offline, but I also started the playthrough because I just... Um, I was doing another playthrough that I'm still uh, working on, Watch Dogs 2, and I wanted to compare the open world with GTA 5, and I thought I could just as well uh, start recording it. Uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance still on the to-do list, uh, Tomb Ra Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Metro Exodus, Gran Turismo Sports, and The Witcher Blood and Wine. So I have 12 deep playthroughs finished and 15 still uh, uh, in progress so yeah as mentioned it's pretty retarded that i'm doing another one but it is what it is change of scenery sometimes um, yeah is good for the motivation or in my case not sometimes like all the time <coughs> considering that i have more playthroughs pending uh compared to completed but yeah it is what it is it will be a deep playthrough <coughs> I will be looking into each nook and cranny, like trying to get all the collectibles, doing the side missions, playing on the max graphical uh, settings, max difficulty setting, uh, and that's about it. I will quickly run you through the option menu, controls, uh, I put it, uh, kept it uh, on the controller, pretty default, it's pretty simple layout, it's uh, not that much to remember. Uh, here it is, I will keep it on the default preset A. Uh, vibration, yes, I did put the auto-aiming uh, off, just to make it a bit more challenging. Visuals, uh, 4K, full screen, brightness is default, I guess. Adjust until darkest symbol is barely visible. Right, so that will be... Something like this, but I will just keep it for now at the default. Why does it... Ah, I didn't save it. It, it remained at 17 while I moved it, but I didn't save it, so it's fine. I will just keep it for now uh, default, because it also depends on the light in this room. And that changes a bit if I start playing during the day or the night, and I don't want to adjust the brightness all the time. So the default is probably a good in-between uh, average. Filter fuel for now, defaults, graphical card. I'm playing it on the PC, 9900K, 280 Ti. Quality settings, everything to ultra. Highest possible. And all the other options enabled. Some extra shadows, red shadows, blood fly shadows. And advanced settings, V-Sync, I put it on. Despite also having adaptive V-Sync on in the control panel, I while playtesting, I did notice some tearing. So I put it on. I think the game still, the performance is still, uh, yeah, pretty much 60 FPS with the 280 Ti. It's a pretty old game, of course. So I will just have them both on. 
adaptive resolution off, don't need it. I have enough horsepower to render this game. Uh, triple buffering, keep it, keep it at default, just keep it off and HP, A, all ambient occlusion on. And that's about the video settings, audio, everything default, except for the headphones button, I put it on. <coughs> Subtitles off. <coughs> that's also something I wanted to mention. Uh, in my deep playthroughs, I always try to minimize all the HUD elements. I want to have as much immersion of the game world as possible. And modern HUDs are always uh, often way too prevalent, way too distracting. Like flashing counters, arrows, objective markers. I hate it. So that's why also in here, um, auto use mana electors, put them to off. Auto save on, kill cam normal, head bob uh, normal. That's why I also here regarding the HUD, I put it all to off, everything, except the tutorial messages because I need to get a grip to all the game mechanics. And the crosshair, when the, with the crossbow, you really cannot shoot accurately um, without. Um, uh, any crosshair, so I kept it simple and it's a really tiny dot, so that's not that uh, unimmersive. For the rest, everything is too off, and I'm actually thinking of. Can you imagine how much elements there are here to distract you from the game world? It's crazy. But kudos to the uh, developer that they uh, allowed the option to disable them all, to tweak it <coughs> totally to your uh, own preference. Um, I actually think that I might make it a bit more hard by um, ammunition. I think I could reduce that a bit. Ah, that's actually the uh, not here. That is in the uh, difficulty menu. Sorry. You can also ch really customize the difficulty. It's all pretty uh, tweakable. Very cool. So that were the options. Difficulty we will get to in a second. Also the developer giving these options. Actually Arcane um, something. Arcane Studios, I guess. It's a pretty cool developer. So I wasn't aware, but they also made like Bioshock 2 <coughs> and Prey. But uh, yeah, Bioshock 1, I, th I think, was the, I found the best one, but 2 was also an amazing game. So, th yeah, they are not like amateurs. Um, I will quickly run the tutorial, just to also let you see the, uh, yeah, the, the full breadth of the game, including all the um, elements it has to offer. And then we'll dive into the campaign and also set the difficulty. And I think there are two difficulty options that I will probably make a little bit more harder than the default max setting being less ammunition and i think the enemies hitting harder or something but first let's do the tutorial here we go sorry for all the babbling but i have to get it out of my system yes Dunwall 1837-1852 As Emily Coldwell, ruler of the Empire of the Isles, you have numerous enemies. Your father is Lord Corvo Atano, infamous royal protector and spymaster. In the years since you took the throne, Corvo has spent many hours training you in the arts of stealth and combat. All right, the um, screen tips below, I will read them throughout the game, but... And, uh, at one point I will probably also read them all at once because I do want to get a grip on all the little nuances of the game mechanics which are often revealed in these tooltips but for now I will just uh, read only one Spending coin at any of the black market shops scattered across Karnaka you can spend money to buy or upgrade weapons and gear I remember training with my father in the years after the rat plague Someday, he said our enemies will come for you. Right, Karnaka. When I just booted it up for playtesting, I did find these yeah, pillars or beams a bit overly simplistic. It really it did show a bit its age, the graphical engine. But the art design is amazing. So... <coughs> 
<coughs> pretty sure, well, pretty quickly, I was fully drawn into the ropes. So here we the go. Sounds and smells of Dunwall never change much. This is my city. A big wheel. Also, a really vertical game. Press L to sprint. Here we go. What training regimen does Father have in store for me today? All right, Majesty. Let's see what you can do. Disinfecting fluid for purifying the air of sick rooms. Add two teaspoons of blah 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 fluid to each quart of water. Kill the rats. There are the reds. Still, it looks pretty good, I must say, this game. For three to four years old. One sec, I will double check on the release date. I think it was 2016. I'll have to climb up and over. This honored to Arcane Studios 2016, November, indeed. All right, here we go. Yes. Hurry. Time to sprint, vault the obstacle, then slide under. All right. Woo Easy as cake. Not sure. I probably have to get up here. <clears throat> actually, I know I have to get up here. Already played this. this. I actually started this playthrough already like a couple of years ago, but never really. I only got like one hour in or something. And never really uploaded it. <sighs> Discarded the footage. Also, let's see how long she can stay underwater. That's good to test out. Because I don't have a hut, so I have to get a feel for it. I don't see any oxygen meter or something. All right, let's see what happens. Screen is not turning red yet. Holy shit. All right, so not much happens. You, it's just game over. It's not like the screen turns red before you die or something. And it's about, I don't know, 20 seconds or something that you can stay on the water. Brand whiskeys. I really like this art style in this game. Somehow it's also a bit reminiscent, I find, of... Um, Half-Life, although it's totally different. No way except to climb. I don't know why. It feels a bit how it controls and stuff like that. that yeah, open shitty environments. And jumping. <clears throat> now let's see how quick my feet are. All right, here we go. Phew. Come to me. You've learned well. Let's see how quiet you are, young lady. All right, all right. Press B to talk a stealth mode, crouching down and walking silently. Stealth, by the way, is this called? Your visibility in stealth mode is greatly reduced. Stay behind cover and out of sight to avoid being detected. Enemies are slower to detect you in stealth mode, especially when you are farther away from them, above them, or at the edge of their peripheral vision in shadow, though this matters more at a distance. Stealth mode, mode enables you to take cover under desks or tables, to lure enemies away, distract them by throwing an object such as a bottle, or setting the alarm on a clock. I want you to sneak up on me, if you can. Father's always on about the value of quiet feet. Alright, we have to sneak up on him. 
Let's do this. Oops. When enemies begin to detect you on awareness meters displayed overhead, gradually filling up a full white meter means an enemy will search for you. A full red meter means you have been detected. No, again, without letting me see you. All right. I've got to sneak to get through this. Move up quietly and apply a chokehold. Like so? That's my girl. Don't let me hear you or see you. All right. Didn't see anything at all. Crouch down and approach from behind. I already got it, right? Time, an enemy will notice you. Let's even get if you're out of here. Of their peripheral vision. Poor will, by the way. Let's check out the whale a bit better. Poor animal. They do have quite big teeth. No, again, without letting me see you. God damn it. Oops, got spotted. Thank you very much. Don't make any sound. Right, right. Quiet as a lynx stalking a gazelle. All right, shooting. Emma's hardware, for all your hardware needs, we have been supplying the city of Dunwall with top-of-the-shelf hardware for over a century. Believe us when we say that we know what we're talking about. Remember, a pistol will wake up everyone in the building. Your crossbow is quiet. All right. Let's do a bit of practice. Alright, so some bottles actually are flammable. I think it are these. Oops. Alright, and we have to shoot the thing over there. Perfect shot. Perfect shot. Was an amazing shot. In the um, death of the outsider, you could communicate with the rats. It's pretty fun. Ah, uh, book. Spirits of the deep. Not. I wasn't aware that there were actually collectibles in the tutorial level. Excerpt from a longer work of fiction. Spirit of the deep. Siren of the dreams. I walked for hours along the coast, leaving Dunwall behind me until the lamb. Lament of the waves drowned all other feeling. I wept knowing you would not come to me, my love. You rule my dreams where I behold with senses I do not possess in waking life. The dark splendor of your home in the deep. There the ocean rests on your back like a sleeping child on his father's shoulders. In these sleepless nights of despair you appear to me not as the mighty Leviathan but as a young man with eyes as black as the void. All right. I don't think this counts towards collectibles because I cannot even access the collectible menus. All right, let's continue. for some more weapons and combat training. Let's beat each other up, shall we? Right trigger to attack. Yes. Come on. That 
That's my daughter. When someone swings a sword at you, block. Right button to block. block with your blade. Good. Well done. Very good. You've got a natural instinct for fighting. If you time your block right, you'll throw an enemy off balance. You're quick. Smart move. That'd stop even the most black-hearted killer. You can check right. an enemy out, even in combat. Panel's this. Like so. So when an enemy is off balance, just grab them. Balance, you can land a lethal counter attack. When an enemy is off balance, after well time lock, you can perform a fatality by pressing right trigger. finally come you're ready to fight thank you father that sums up the tutorial so here we go a new game what are missions you can probably select chapters here we'll not be doing that new game Right. <coughs> All right. <coughs> um, easy. Enjoy the scenery and narrative. Exploring at a leisurely, leisurely pace. Enemies have limited perception. Inflict less damage and will give up the chase sooner. Elixirs have increased restorative value and your health regenerates faster. Tailored for players. Medium. Tailored for players familiar with first-person action games. Hard for veterans of Dishonored or players who enjoy a challenge. Enemies are perceptive, tenacious and more dangerous in combat. Very hard. A brutal experience for highly skilled players. Cover offers less concealment. Sound travels farther and reinforcements show up in greater numbers. Enemies are very perceptive, attack faster and deal more damage. Elixirs have decreased restorative value. Custom, customize your difficult and overall experience. Let's check that. All right, so it's on very hard, so I can save. Uh, there is still slow time with the weapon wheel. I do like that. Enemy perception faster. Overhead is keen. Visibility when leaning, pretty visible. Uh, or actually totally visible. Constrained leaning, yes, so I can lean less farther out. Slow effect of the dart toxin. Footsteps are a bit more noisy, so I have to mind my steps. I like that. Search persistency is long. Reinforcements, more guards. Health regeneration is limited, so we have to rely on other means, to, the food and stuff to regenerate health. Enemy damage, high damage. Just try to avoid combat. Group attack, uh, up to more is up to three attackers at a time. So really try to avoid combat. Attack frequency is higher, they, so they uh, yeah, do more attacks uh, per time. Uh, <coughs> units, range accuracy high, really avoid combat. Enemy bravery, they are less panicky. The mana replenish, some mana is replenished after using. Yes, because I don't want to be totally f uh, all the time out of mana i do want to able to create and you to use and be a bit creative with the uh, special abilities which i'm sure require mana ammunition quality this is the one that i m might want to do a bit more uh, strict than actually the hardest difficulty setting because on the hardest it's set normal but you can also set this to less ammunition. There will be one less unit of ammunition that makes it like all just that bit more valuable. So, uh, and you really, 
are forced to be play more tactical. So I'm going with less ammunition, elixir speeds, slower uh, replenish effects. This is the time for them to replenish fully, but some mana is replenished after using a power. Not all mana. Ah, this is probably when you use some uh, consumable to replenish mana and health. It's slower. Yeah, I like it. Very slow is maybe a bit too annoying, especially if you're in combat or something. Elixir strength weaker. They, uh, th yeah, replenish less. Chase tenacity, tenacious. Uh, and stealth visibility. Yeah, this is the other one I might do a bit more uh, strict than actually the hardest difficulty level because it's on the hardest, it's on normal. But you can also put it to high, meaning you are more visible in bright light. And I'm going just with high. So I'm going actually two notches above the highest difficulty. So I have stealth visibility. Uh, it's a one. Uh, notch uh, higher and ammunition quantity is one lesser than the hardest difficulty uh, setting so that's my custom difficulty settings kudos to arcane that they really let uh, everybody tailor the game to uh, how they want to my preference is just as hard as possible while i am by no means a professional gamer or very good i just like the challenge and it just fits the whole deep place for a niche that I'm doing like max graphics max immersion max difficulty and doing all the uh, quests and objectives and um, goodies that the, that the game has to offer so here we go guys hope to uh, see you at the other side looking forward here we go oh we're not yet on the other side oh we are actually um i will read this emily and we already read it combat and stealth fight and kill your enemies or adopt a stealthier approach and avoid them looking forward here i we remember go. training with my father in the years after the rat plague someday he said our enemies will come for you what the hell Ah, shit. Annoying that yes that I pressed. I thought it was confirmation of the uh, difficulty level, but that was probably the question. I didn't even read it. Do you want to do the tutorial? And I'm not going to do the tutorial again. So let's get out of here. Quick game. Back to main menu. Man, I hope everything is still saved. Um, I'm quickly double checking the visuals. Yes, this is all good. Gameplay. Auto use. Yes, good. And here everything is off except for the crosshair. Yes. Alright, let's start a new game. Again. Custom. Let's put it to very hard and put visibility to high and ammunition to low. Like so. And then I actually have, except for the mana replenish and the elixir speed. If you look at the arrow beside each setting, the left and the right arrow, all the right arrows are grayed out, meaning that's the highest setting, except for save model and access wheel. They are also not to the max, but it's um, difficult enough. Confirm. And do you want to play the tutorial? This one I accidentally clicked yes, but nope, we do not want that. Today marks the anniversary of the death of Empress Jessamine Coldwin, assassinated 15 years ago. 
Visitors from across the Empire of the Isles have journeyed to Dunwall Tower for the occasion. A long day in Dunwall, chapter one. Stealth mode, to sneak, go into stealth mode and stay behind cover. Low light, light makes you harder to see only at a distance. Here we go, looking forward for the second time. Her Majesty Jessamine Coldwind, mother to Emily, Empress to us all. Of an assassination? Fifteen years ago, in the middle of a plague that nearly destroyed Dunwall, a paid killer assaulted the palace where I was born and stabbed my mother in the heart. In the aftermath, the men who sent the assassin tried to use me as a pawn in a game of power. They would have succeeded, but my father, Corvo Atano, hunted them down and cut their conspiracy to pieces. All these years later, am I the ruler my mother wanted me to be? Now, we face a new crisis. A monster the papers are calling the Crown Killer has been picking off my enemies and dressing it up like my father and I are responsible. Who framed Roger Rabbit? I don't know whether to get on a ship and sail to the opposite side of the world, or to have everyone around me executed. Watch your step, Majesty. I'm not looking forward to all the ceremony today. Your signet ring. There. You're ready. Thank you, Alexei. Open the doors. All hail Her Imperial Majesty, Emily Caldwin. Loyal subjects. We're going through a difficult time, but today we honor my mother, the late Jessamine Caldwin. May her memory survive through the ages. Emily. You look tired, Father. Every year, I think the anniversary of Jessamine's death will be easier, but it never is. I wish Mother was still the Empress. I don't think I'm very good at this. You're still learning. Don't worry about the rabble-rousers, and we'll catch the Crown Killer, eventually. People are saying it's you, that these assassinations are a misguided effort to protect me. No, someone's trying to make us look guilty by targeting your enemies. I wish I could just run away from all this. Sometimes you do. You think I don't know about your nights out on the rooftops? Courage. The ceremony will be over soon. Royal protector and father. I should have passed a law against that combination of titles years ago. It really does have the Biosoc vibe a bit, these NPCs. I really didn't make that connection, but it's the same developer. Your Majesty, before we begin the day's observances, we have an unexpected visitor, the Duke of Circonos. Ramsey really says the unique Duke in their is bringing style. special gifts. That's intriguing. Disgrace Luca Abel, Duke of Circonos! Oops. Mechanical soldiers? Amazing. What is this, Ramsey? I didn't authorize those things. Your Imperial Majesty and Royal Protector Corvo Atano, a native of our homeland, Sarconis offers condolences on this sorrowful day and gifts to remind you of our nation, the rising star on the southern horizon. We thank you, Your Grace. Save your thanks, for now I give you the greatest gift of all, family. I present the lost sister of Jessamine Caldwin, your rightful empress, Delilah Caldwin. Impossible. My mother had a sister? My dearest niece, hello. It's not true. My father was Emperor Yuhorn Jacob Caldwin, and Jessamine was my younger sister. At the time of her death, I wasn't ready to make myself known to you, and I was forced to leave Dunwall. But now I'm home. If you really are my mother's sister, you're welcome to stay as long as you like. Little Sparrow, 
Blackened by bad memories, I'm here to relieve you of your crown. My father's promise, whispered in secret so many years ago, is now fulfilled. Watch your tongue. Emily Caldwin is the daughter of Empress Jessamine Caldwin. Royal protector. How naive to think you could get away with these murders. Living in my palace has protected you, but that's over. Hear me, all of you. Your rightful Empress has returned. All hail the Empress Delilah. First of her name. Arrest Emily Caldwin and her father for the Crown Killer murder. What? Holy shit. They quickly turn around. be playing as uh, I like to play as Emily but I'm also also doing a Tomb Raider game and Control is a female protagonist Gears of War 5 was a female protagonist I'm going with the uh, classical uh, male protagonist but uh, let's read it play as Emily Coldwyn ruler of the Empire of the Isles trained in stealth and combat by her father Corvo Atano nope we will be playing as Corvo himself Legendary royal protector to the empress and figure of infamy from the time of the Red Plague. Yes. Cast you in cold marble. Corvo Atano, how handsome you are for a man of your age. And how long had you hidden the mark of the outsider? I expect it's a wonderful story. I'll lock him in the Empress's chambers, and then I'll bring him to Coldridge Prison <laughs> until his trial. But those My soldiers... father lost it all. Sent me to the city watch, one step above begging. Think I had to take your orders? Corfo Itano, son of a Zirconan tradesman. Captain Ramsey, I heard shouting. Lord Corvo, what happened? That'll be all, Captain Mayhew. Oh, well, that's the Royal Protector's fancy weapon. What kind of sword folds in half? Pretty gruesome. But those soldiers, they turn like their allegiance within a second. Like almost they were in on it from before There's the There's a legend appeared. in the city watch. The Empress's last resort, the safe room inside your daughter's chambers, is holding enough gold to buy an island. And they say this is one of the only two keys. All right. Here we go. What Genuine. happened? Alexei. The throne room. Emily. Genuine start Nothing of the I can do alone. Of I need to get out of here. Of the adventure. Alright, you can eat stuff. Oh, wrong button. Fresh food replenishes your health, while rotten food will not. Take an apple. Apparently, the guys talking, the NPCs talking, can also give clues and hints for the environment and objectives and stuff. So we'll have to mind that. God damn it, wrong button. Maybe I should just spin it. Pick a place to lick my wounds. I've got to regroup. I helped Emily get a frog unstuck from this old clock when she was 11. I swear I'll find a way to fix this. To bring her back. Art design is amazing, seriously. Also really nice that the simple crosshair is like super minimal. It's like a couple of pixel dots only. Alright, letter from the 
Tuvian Trade Commission, our most esteemed empress, as you know, freight from Circonus bound for Tivia is now routinely set upon by pirates who are spoiled with blood plies. In addition to the loss of Tuvian lives, be they crew, dock workers or shopkeepers, there is the material cost of the cargo itself, which can barely be calculated. If things continue unchecked, we will be forced to cease trading with Circonus and perhaps to even embargo ships from the southernmost isle altogether. But this needs need not come to pass. The Trade Commission is a reasonable body and has already considered remedies to ameliorate the situation. We seek the following. 1. Independent qualified inspectors at all ports. 2. Patrols to defend against pirates and smugglers. 3. Compensation for the previous and future losses. It is this list of remedies that I wish to discuss with you in person at the earliest possible opportunity. So far your staff have resisted our efforts to establish a definitive time for negotiation. Prompt them to action, Majesty. Majesty, we, for we are eager to travel to Dunwall. Until we can sit down and discuss this in a civilized fashion, I send you our best. Damien Surigan, Principal, Tuvian Trade Commission. All right, so something's up with the trade. The Hound Pits Club pub. That is, I think, that pub from uh, Dishonored 1. It's really weird. I feel like I already played this game, but I only played the DLC. But that was a pretty long DLC. It really feel, felt, it's on my channel, it really felt like a standalone game. But this game actually is even bigger, I assume. Being the main game. Let's quickly check it out over here. Dunwall always has a way of turning sour, just as soon as you get comfortable. Right, we cannot uh, go past that pipe. And we still have some stuff to find over here. Schedule for Middle Songs Eve. Empress, presented for your approval the schedule for Middle Songs Eve. Morning meal with two of you in Trade Commission. Presentation from the research vessel Lo Lowly Swift. Just returned from newly discovered island chain of Pandician continent. Midday meal with dignitaries from Morley who will present you with a gift in exchange for your attention to their complaints. Dedication and speech for new wing at the infirmary home for aged seafarers. Meeting with advisors on the issue of blood flies in the south. Evening meal with Lord Corva at his request. Eric Plainstall, scheduling secretary. All right. Guys, I'm hitting the 45 minute markers. We'll have to end this episode here. We'll continue immediately in the next one. I uh, hope you enjoyed. I hope to see the next one. And for the meantime, do not forget, always do keep on gaming. See you later.